This video is sponsored exclusively by MyAdjustMate.com. Importing and labeling photos. I don't think there's an adjuster alive who doesn't look for some kind of workaround to importing and labeling photos in Xactimate or any other software for that matter. The importing part, maybe not such a big deal, but the organizing and the labeling part, totally different story. What if I told you that there may be a quicker way, one that doesn't involve typing? Find out starting now. You're watching the Property IA Show. Hey, Matt here with Adjuster TV. And if you want YouTube to show you more new videos about building a rewarding career in claims, subscribe now and hit the like button even if you don't like this video. It'll give you better gas mileage. Okay, as a property adjuster, you must document your file. And the best way to do that is with photos. Back in the day, we shot on Polaroid and 35 millimeter film cameras, and we had to write the label of the photo on a piece of paper. Now you'd think that that would take all day just to do one claim, but we still found workarounds even back then. And one of those was labeling photos as we took them. That white space at the bottom of a Polaroid photo is there for a reason. And we're gonna come back to this in just a minute. Fast forward to today. We take photos with our camera, we import those pics into Xactimate, we organize the photos if we had to take them out of order, then we have to label those photos. And because not every adjuster is very good at typing, a lot of the time they will skimp on properly organizing and labeling photos. And labeling photos is a major limiting factor that keeps many adjusters from closing more than about four claims per day. And being bad at this is also a limiting factor on how well you do overall as an adjuster. It's really that important. If you just put roof on a photo without telling us anything else about what we're looking at, they could hold your claim up, get it kicked back to you to fix, or even get you a call from a manager. Every carrier I've worked for has estimating guidelines that say very clearly that you need to label photos with the minimum of where the photo is, what it is, and if there's damage or not. So for example, dwelling roof, front slope, no damage. So this is a real problem. It's a real bottleneck labeling photos. It's because of this bottleneck that a lot of independent software developers approach me asking me to review or demo their new apps that create workarounds to help adjusters create more accurate files faster. To be frank, most of them either make the claims workflow longer or they overlap with an existing app or functionality of Xactimate. However, there've been a few really, really good ones that I think can speed up an adjuster's claim workflow enough that I think you need to hear about them. And one of the best ones I have found is my Adjustimate. Okay, full stop. I literally just put out another whole video series about taking photos with a camera, this camera to be exact. And while I still advocate for using a snapshot camera, mainly for the durability of these cameras versus smartphones, I'm always looking at technology that can make me faster and better. And I think this app has great potential in achieving this goal. So the key features of this new app are that you can not only label photos while you're taking them, but it will also automate organizing your photos into categories that you can quickly drop straight into an Xactimate grouping tree, okay? So all of your roof photos will automatically go into the roof folder. All of the front elevation folders go to the front elevation folder and so on. The biggest benefits of my adjustment are that it saves a huge amount of time. It eliminates typing errors, which is gonna make you look even smarter and it will improve your file consistency. Why is that important? When file reviewers and desk adjusters see your name on a file, they're gonna know exactly what to expect when they start reviewing your photos. Listen, if you've never been a file reviewer or a desk adjuster, then it can be a little bit hard to understand how important a coherent, clear, and well-organized claim file is. And while you're out there in the field as the adjuster and you're running four, five, six, maybe eight wind hail claims per day, a file reviewer may be looking at 40 to 100 files that need to be approved or sent back for corrections that day. Those people will quickly figure out the adjusters who would do a great job and whose files they can green light and the adjusters who have such bad work that it will take them hours to sort it out. And I'm telling you, my Adjustimate is a tool that will make you a hero to file reviewers. So how does this work? The basic overview of the process is this. You use the My Adjustimate app to label and organize photos as you are taking them. 
Then you connect your smartphone to your computer or you use a cloud storage service like Dropbox to send them straight to your computer. To learn more about getting your images off your phone and accessible on your computer, visit myjustimate.com for many more tutorials on this. Finally, the last step is, is that you drag your images from the pre-sorted and annotated folders right into your images tool in Xactimate. And that literally is all there is to it. Okay, let's jump into the MyAdjustimate app and take a look at this thing. When you first open the app, after you log in, you're gonna see a simple menu screen. And here's where you can add your Dropbox account if you have one. Now let's create a new project. Enter a project name here. Probably the insurance claim you're working on will say John Doe. Theoretically, you could put in the claim number, but you're gonna find that it's a lot easier to remember a name versus a string of numbers. And if you end up with two different unrelated John Does, then you can just add the street name to the newer one. So for example, John Doe, 38th Street. After you create your project, it jumps straight into the camera application. So across the top, we can see on the screen that there's a home icon in the upper left. This takes you back to the main menu screen. The next option is select damage, which we'll get to in just a minute. Then you can see here the project that you're working on. So John Doe, 38th Street. Then it says main menu. This lets you know that you are at the top of the nested photo annotating and organizing labels. And here's how this works. Below the main menu, it gives you the choice between dwelling and other structures. You'll always start with dwelling photos, even if the damage is only to say a detached garage. Why? Because the risk photo is always a dwelling photo on homeowners claims. So tap dwelling. Now you'll see the folder you're in, Dwelling, here. Below that, you can now select if the photo you want to take is one of these main areas. Roof, Elevation, Risk Overview, and Interior. Since this is our risk photo, we'll tap Risk Overview. We can now select Front, Left, Back, Right, or Address Verification. Because we're gonna have a Front of Risk Overview and then an Address Verification image, we'll shoot our main risk photo as Front. Notice that as soon as I tapped front, that this white button appears. That's the shutter button. That means that we can now take our front of risk photo. Four things to mention here really quick. If you look here across the bottom, you can see pretty much exactly what the label is going to look like as you build your image annotation. Second thing, this main menu button here will take you back to the top of your nested label selections. So you can start over at a new elevation, slope, or structure. Third thing, this arrow here will take you back up one level in your nested labels if you don't need to go all the way back to the top in your labels. And finally, back to this select damage button here. Once you've selected your labels, the last thing you do before you take your pick is to indicate the type of damage or lack thereof in your image label. There are several things you can choose from here, including even things like mechanical damage and prior damage, and we're gonna choose no damage. Again, you can see what the label is going to be across the bottom. Then we take our photo, and that's it. Now, if you've ever scoped property losses before, you're probably thinking that tapping on the screen to do all this is gonna take more time while you're scoping. Because honestly, it takes less than a second to whip out your camera and grab a photo while you're working your way around a house. But the amount of time that this will add up to in your scope really isn't that much. Maybe a handful more minutes, right? The amount of time that you save later when you're bringing your images into Xactimate is gonna be huge. And we're talking the difference between organizing, sorting, labeling, annotating, all of your images by hand, by typing, which is gonna take you at least 15 minutes, even if you're a fast typer, and way, way longer if you're terrible at typing, versus dragging already labeled photos into Xactimate in literally just a handful of minutes, if that. This is an undeniable efficiency upgrade. The math works heavily in your favor to use my adjustment. You will be able to close more claims per day using this app. And if you've been wanting to listen to me and start closing claims in the field, this is gonna eliminate that limiting factor of taking a half hour or more just to mess around with claims photos. And by the way, I always say, no matter what, always bring your photos into Xactimate and label them before you leave the house, even if you don't do anything else. Which brings me to the next part, importing the photos into Xactimate, and I mean, this is it. 
this is, this, I mean, there's literally not a whole lot to show here. This is gonna be dead simple. Before we start importing photos, however, you're gonna to need to be sure that you're using a pre-made grouping tree to make this process even easier. And you can download one for free at adjustertv.com slash myadjustmate. I have a couple of videos on the what, why, and how of grouping trees as well, and I'll link those up in the description below. To back up a second, when you're setting up your new claims in Xactimate, one of the first things that you need to do is import a pre-made grouping tree template, either by copy-paste or using the copy from project function. After we get our proper grouping tree into our project, then we'll open the file explorer down here and find our My Adjustimate folder. In this case, I'm using Dropbox. Here we can see all of our projects. We'll select our John Doe 38th Street folder. Next, I'm gonna arrange Xactimate and this folder so that I can see both of them at the same time so that I can drag and drop photos from this folder into where I want my photos to go in Xactimate. If you grab your window and drag it to the left or right side of your screen in Windows, it's automatically gonna reframe it so that it's taking up just that half. And then click up here to minimize the left navigation menu in X1. So, why the grouping tree? The reason why you wanna have a grouping tree set up in your claim file is because it will show up in your images tool automatically, as you can see here. It's gonna make organizing your photos just about the fastest thing ever. Now from here, just go into each of these nested folders inside of your John Doe 38th Street folder and select and drag those images over to the corresponding folder inside of Xactimate. And here's a real quick pro tip shortcut. If you get into your John Doe 38th Street project folder and over here in this search box, type in .jpg, that's gonna let you view all of the JPEGs that are inside any of the folders that are inside of the John Doe folder. So you won't have to go through all of the subfolders to find your pictures. Then just drag and drop, rearrange a little bit with some control clicking and boom, you're all done. That's it, people. Did you see me typing in there anywhere? Nope. The really cool thing is that because Xactimate allows for long image names, you don't need to use the description field to add notes if you don't need to. You certainly can if you've got something weird, unique, or out of the ordinary that you want to explain in the photo. But for the most part, these photos are labeled. A couple of final things to mention. Let's say that you've scoped the roof and you've taken your pictures on the roof on the elevations and now you're inside the house scoping the kitchen, for example. And now you realize that you forgot a critical photo up on the back slope of the roof. If you go back out and get that photo using the labeling system in My Adjustimate, that photo will go into the back slope folder. So it's not gonna create some new folder for the back slope or put the image in some weird place where you can't find it. So theoretically, you could take all of your photos completely out of order, risk photo very last, but as long as you use the labeling feature, they will all automatically be organized into their correct folders for simple drag and drop into Xactimate later. Secondly, I always teach you to scope the same way every time and to, as much as you can, avoid getting out of your scoping order. But even if you do have to deviate from your scoping order, the only thing you'll have to do in Xactimate may be to drag a few photos around here and there to make sure that they match your overall scoping and estimate order so that file review can find your images quickly and easily. If you want to start using My Adjustimate now for free, you can get a special discount at adjustertv.com slash myadjustimate. If you've got more questions about this new app, reach out to the folks at myadjustimate.com. And thank you so much to My Adjustimate for sponsoring this video. And as always, thank you for watching and have a great storm.